Some women that are doing business and others in the tourism sector say that the COVID-19 pandemic has affected them in various ways, including losses to their businesses. Uh, lockdown. In the beginning of the lockdown, that's when our businesses started having losses on a level that was uncomfortable. Industry owners stopped working, whereby you could find that a half of the employees are being sent home and were also stopped after the COVID-19 pandemic got worse. Currently, it's not well. There are no flights coming in lately. Even though routes to different districts and provinces are open, business is still slow. Because when you look around, everything seems stagnant in different sectors, which is why these meetings are important in such a time whereby we are able to talk about these issues, which we very much needed. After seeing the effects that the COVID-19 pandemic has caused to the businesses, women in the PSF decided to find a way to support other entrepreneurial women, mostly through mentorship. This project named Business Clinic intends to help women in rebuilding their businesses, be it imparting knowledge on laws or promoting their businesses in order to expand markets, attract more investments, sponsorship and advocacy. There have been a lot of challenges faced in businesses whereby they had been stopped during the lockdown and their savings from profits were used to support their families in order for life to move on, but their businesses were stuck. It's important that we help these entrepreneurs to have a plan in their businesses in order for them to gain opportunities that will find their businesses having a structure and vision. This project will start with 30 women that will be chosen, whereby they will be given advice and mentorship for six months. These are women that will already have their own businesses in the former sector. The manager of the social empowerment program Women for Women, Denise Umgari Wangoga, showcased a plan for helping as many women as possible through offering mentorship in order to develop better projects as quickly as possible. And currently they have received over a hundred investors in this project of supporting the female entrepreneurs. Jane Mutoni, reporting for RTV.